All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and a Shalom to the elect. This is a Sean coming at you with another video. And um, I'm going to just go in the spirit because I was uh, watching the brother from South Carolina, um, the elder, his video on. Um, this particular uh, athlete, her name, she's a well-known athlete by the name of Serena Williams. And um, what I would want to say is a couple of uh, brothers did videos on this matter. And uh, lately, it's been pictures going around and she's been bleaching her skin. And I just looked up on it and... Uh, it seems to be true because Serena Williams was a fairly, uh, you know, dark skinned woman. And that just shows you how, um, you know, how our people are destroyed, you know. Um, and um, I'm going to come back to the the, the, uh, the screen. I'm going to go over here to uh, the famous scripture, Hosea. Just hold on for a sec. Okay, the scripture I wanted to get. This scripture is... Uh, Hosea 4 and 6, and it reads, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And, um, you know, what? I'll just read the whole thing. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou has forgotten the law of thy power. And I will also forget thy children. So let's go to the top. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. If our people knew anything, um, it's it's destroying your skin um, to bleach it. You know, that's a lack of knowledge. Uh, being dark is a, a form of having melanin. You know, and that's just uh, something our people is is destroyed in. You know, knowing, knowing, you know, they don't know. They destroy. They think that looking like Esau is, is the way. And even though it, it, it in this system, you get perks and all that for being an Edomite. Because this is their uh, this is their kingdom. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He cover up the faces of the judges thereof. What did he do when he covered up the faces? He made them white. So our people or, or red, you know, our people think that looking like that uh, equates to royal royalty. Our people think that looking like Esau uh, will, you know, bring you, you know, money, good things, happy times, um, wealth, stability. And looking like Jacob will bring um, turmoil. And to an extent, it is, but that's when you gotta have faith. That's when you gotta, you gotta, um, you gotta have faith, man. You know, our people don't have, our people lack faith. Our people lack integrity. You know, they're quick to sell out. You know, that's why you got a lot of sellouts. You know, and she's married to a uh, so-called white man, which I believe he he's he's probably an Edomite. You know, so let's get another scripture. You know, um, let me see. Okay, let's get Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering. And that and that goes, that's this Richard twofold, you know. You, you, our people go through limps of just trying to cover up their looks and try to look like the other nations, especially the women. And the women are the weaker vessel. So we understand that. We understand that it's, it's about the man leading. But in this system of things, Babylon the Great, they are, 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 are out of order because Esau is leading. And Esau is the lowest out of the lowest, you know, the bottom of the barrel in reality. But the Heavenly Father did that to show his power. The Heavenly Father put him on a pedestal or on a top to show his power, you know. And just as quick as he's going to bring them down, that's going to show his power as well. So we get a lot of times, Jake, even us, sometimes we're guilty of giving Esau too much credit. You know, 
it's the heavenly father that's really doing it. Esau is just a pawn. Esau is just a puppet in reality, you know, in reality, you know, I like the saying, hey, uh, big brother, it's a thing called big brother where though Esau watching everybody. He got cameras everywhere. But guess what, Esau, you watching us, you got an eye on us. But guess what? The heavenly father got an eye on you. He has an eye on you. Here it is the whole time you spying on us. You know, you, you got the cable. You got um, found out that it's uh, you can. Uh, that's a camera all in your TV, your smart box, your smart screen. And Esau could be spying on you. You could be sleeping that night. And we all had a cable. That's why uh, they came up with the thing where the cable was on 24-7. So they, anytime they want to push a button, they could beam right into your room and, and, and watch you. Doing your, your most uh, secret, um, your privacy, you know. That's why you got to watch. Hey, bro, you got to watch, you know, what you're doing, you know. Because Esau, you know, you don't, Esau is violating, you know, people's private rights. But guess what? The Heavenly Father is watching everything this devil doing, you know? Let's go back to the screen for a sec. Yeah, see, our people uh, have really low self-esteem, you know? Look at her face right there. You know, our, our people, and, and, and this her, her, you know, a complexion right here. But as you see right here, you know... She's getting lighter and lighter, and our and a lot of our uh, a lot of the Israelite woman on this side, they 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 would love to look like uh, an Edomite. Like uh, I know um, the elder at the camp, at my camp, he always bring it out how um, he uh, he brings it out <laughs> how Miriam, you know, if she was in, doing in this time, which everybody's back, you know, and the heavenly father. Uh, how about me? I was trying to turn her uh, white or leprosy. She would have loved it. She would have. Oh, she ain't what she probably would have. Hey, this a blessing, you know, because it's a. Uh, for the most part, our people look at it like it's a blessing to look like Esau on this side, you know. So she, you know, she's married to a white man. You know, a lot of our women are practically bed wenches. You could you can use that term because you're sleeping with the enemy. You know, you're, you're doing nothing but sleeping with the enemy, you know. And that's what they did. It, it goes back to slavery, you know. When our woman with uh, Esau would come in there and uh, lay with our woman, you know. So that proves, hey, it's a lot of uh, tear. You got a lot of tears, you know. Our, they, he, he would lie with our women, with the, with the Israelite woman. So Esau going to pay. You got to pay for this, man. Our people are psychologically through, as the brother would say, uh, always say. Our people are through. Look at this, man. They want to be an Edomite woman. She all the way down to the blonde hair. I ain't never understood why how a dark skinned woman would uh, wear some blonde hair. I mean, it, it just looked ridiculous. But that's that they destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, look at this. You could, you, come on now. I mean, what is that? That looked like the, um, it was a movie that came out a little while back. I think it was around the late 90s, early 2000s. It was a movie called White Girls. She looked just like that, you know? So this, hey, for all you simps, for all you simps, this is your queen. This is your black queen, you know? This is your queen. Yep, she's bleaching her skin. But, um, you know, it's not a uh, uh, campaign to drag her. But, hey, we, we correct our people, you know. We correct our people when they, you know. And and most likely this is a two-third, you know. It, the, any, the Heavenly Father, Father could do anything he want, you know, so anybody could repent. But uh, the majority, it's most likely, you know. Most likely, a lot of people that sold out the signing name in it in blood, they ain't going. They they not going to repent, you know. And and when they do repent, the heavenly Father uh, most likely going to require their blood to be on their own hand because they 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 sold out, you know. They sold out. Certain sins, there's no coming back from from that. I believe here it is. This is 
the so-called uh, husband or whatever. So our women are um, our women are not on our side now. If you go back, I do videos. I did a couple of videos on. We do have sisters that's in this truth that believe. So yes, we do have sisters that's 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 right. That's riders. You know what I mean? Like for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Yes, they believe in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And just like um, going back uh, over uh, two millennia, two thousand years ago, when the Lord was on the scene, it was women. That was crying over Yahweh Shai when he was on a cross. So most likely a lot, a whole lot of them women are coming back in this time and they're following Yahweh Shai. You know, they're following Yahweh Shai. I just did a video the other day. It's called The Elect Lady, you know. So it's a balance. We're going to have wicked women that follow Esau and the women are the weaker vessel. So we understand that, you know. We're going to have women that follow Esau and we're going to have women that follow the truth. You know, it's, it is what it is, you know, but to warn, to warn you brothers, you can't to get too caught up in um, calling the black women queens and all that, because it's, there's no queens um, in Israel. And furthermore, there's no queens without a king. You know, you can't have a, a, a queen without a king because it's first of all, it's a kingdom. You know, but in Babylon, the great, I guess you can call it a queendom, you know. But uh, I guess that's that's all, uh, you know, I didn't want this video to be too drawn out. But, it's, you know, through the spirit, I wanted to bring this to the brother's attention. You know, this this proves that a lot of our women are sellouts, you know. So we got to just stay in this faith and and, and ride out for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And stay faithful to him, you know. Hey, a lot of a lot of the men sold out, you know. All these rappers, you know, they sold out to the Baphomet, sold out to to Satan, you know. So I hope this was edifying to the body. Till again, brothers. Shalom.